Shots landed on the Marshall. 20 HP for Mummy. And it stalled out the take for just a moment, but there's still more players on the site. Victor does fall, crashes around the corner with the ghost taken down by Ethan. Mummy able to grab one, but this is the power of that force buy. They've got a three on two right now, and the spike is being planted. Very nicely done here, and a big paranoia. This is going to allow Finesse to probably get around the left side corner and could actually get the backstab here, and he will onto Asuna, making a 2v2. One more course long. He goes low on HP, and he doesn't have any shark darts to, uh, shark darts, sorry, to work with, so they have to try to go for these body peaks and try to clutch now. Barf has a free kill, basically, towards short. Does take significant damage. Hiko's got a recon dart to try to get some information. There's two players waiting around the corner. All they have to do is catch him on the peak. Marv is going to stick it, and FNS is there. So a little bit scary for Envy. They are going to play a little bit aggressive, just like they did on A, and you can see that thought is not inaccurate. Mummy pushing up, caught out. There's Crashies who's going to get traded, and things have gone really well here in the early round for 100 Thieves. Going to be super easy now, noticing where the... Seekers are going, at least in no one's garage, but not necessarily knowing where actually FNS is. And there you go, they finally spot him face to face. A Spectre versus a Phantom is not going to work out too much. It's probably going to get broken very soon here for 100 Thieves. So Envy is going to, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for Envy to try to play this retake. They don't have a Killjoy ult. They have the Blade Storm, but they have to rely here on the information that's going to come out from Crashies. Hot hands going up around the corner. Paranoia as well. That forces the Cypher into position. I love what they're doing with Mummy, but Mummy just gets spammed down. Hiko's actually able to pick up two with the ult. They need to play aggressively, uh, and they just want to try to fight back that way with the retake place. And they also flash towards short early on, and I'm pretty sure they got the intel as Mummy was going for a peek. Steel has gone ahead and dropped the cage to try to escape. He knows he's got players trapped on long. There's a tripwire going down. Asuna. Catches FNS coming through, has to worry there's one waiting around the corner, but it doesn't seem to stop him now. The spike's been stuck, and they've got it just about halfway. Vic has to pull off. That actually could end up being punishing here, as Ethan's coming from the same spot, and again, the spike does not get to halfway. Not that it matters anyway. Mummy's on the site, the last player remaining. Timing is so unfortunate. Just shift his crosshair at the wrong time. Can't quite catch them. <laughs> Look at the rebound, my goodness. Dude got snapped back in time hard. Still, this is a two-on-two. -two. This is not that bad for Envy right now, given what they brought into the round to get it to this point, and there's weapons down that they can easily pick up. Now, Victor's going to take out the Seekers, or at least take out the ones intended for him. Uh-oh. But look at this rap play. They heard the footsteps. They know there's a potential that they're here. The dog's going to go out. There's the peak, and now it's all on FNS with 11 HP. Just looking to spill some blood here and not even going to get a chance. Asuna is too aware, too woke for that. Five rounds straight for 100 Thieves. <laughs> and, and that's exactly what's happening right now. There's nothing watching mid, and Phoenix uh, is already back on this flank with Victor. Great ding shot coming out. More damage being dealt to Nitro than you'd expect based on the fact that that first shot came through. They do, however, have one up on site already. There's a tripwire around the corner, and that's going to keep them at bay. They have to shoot it. Nitro knows he's got players behind him, just trying to buy time at this point. Paranoia comes out. The smokes come out. Now, in the meantime, Mummy has actually managed to pick off Ethan. But there's the Killjoy ult to try to get them back into the site. The spike has not been planted. Steel does have the Odin, but the LMG not able to fire enough bullets fast enough to get the kill. He goes around the corner, and there's just targets dancing around on the edges of that smoke, making it shot to take care of the dart. I don't think he would have been able to get the pistol out in time. Look at this play, though. Crash, he's able to catch one. I'm not sure he anticipates the second, but it doesn't matter. Enough staying power to live through the fight. And now it's down to two. This feels like the rounds that were going in the direction of 100 Thieves. As Hiko's the only one left standing. And first, it's the flash coming out. Now Mummy's in trouble, missing the first shot, having to smoke the, the dart as well to prevent his position from being given away. Asuna already gone on the site. There's the quick trade as well after Asuna falls. It's a three on two. Right the two remaining, Victor and Crashies, one-two punch, who transferred over to this team and brought a new life to them. First kill is going to go the way of Victor, and now it's down to just one player, but it's Hiko, the clutch god. Nothing is ever guaranteed. The shock dart comes out. Gets a little aggressive with the second shock dart, but it works. They don't peek wide enough. Thought they would. Low HP coming in. It's going to be Hiko with the Red Bull clutch. A big 1v. Slight. The guided light to come out to force Mummy out of position to not allow Mummy to get these kills. And speaking about kills, it's just going to be Victor working down towards his sewer again. Crash is moving forward. And again, it's the Victor and Crashy show looking for a couple more kills. There's a thing through the wall. And we have Shark Darts coming out too. And he connects onto Ethan. Oh, no, my God. He's got everything on lockdown here, Bach.
support to make them guess and wonder on his position. Smoke's gonna go down right in front of him. I actually love the way he set this one up because he can play off this smoke so well. He steps inside, he's got a target right to his left, and he's got a target who's now on top of the spike. He's got a peek towards it. He's a little bit afraid. There's another one coming in from Nitro. 72 HP. Goes to the sidearm. Oh, oh, gets caught oh, cycling weapons. There was an... He's well positioned. You see everybody rotate back towards C. Steel was checking on the cross, but doesn't spot them and does get timing a bit, but it's nice shots at least on the first target. Meanwhile, a great flash coming out from Ethan, but the <laughs> frenzy kind of not working out so well. It gets paranoid from the side. There's kills happening on all angles. Trades going in multiple directions, but it's currently Envy who is in control. They still have not yet planted the spike. So even though they have sight control, they haven't done much with it. It's Nitro in a 1v3. And luckily, if the spike's planted, he can't really win the round if he's dead. So, at least that's <laughs> another threat that's to make sure that the flank is clear. There's still a lot of players around this corner, and Ethan, even just going for this peak is a little bit risky, but they catch Crashies in the drone! Ooh. Ethan's able to find a second one, nice flash coming out as well to scare them away, and Ethan escapes! Great mid-round recovery there. After losing an early battle, they regain control of short, and they punish Envy by trapping them all in this small square on long A. Ethan's still battling on Sirius at the same time. It's gonna be the bait switch. You focus on Ethan, you got a couple in the back of the site. It's not gonna be doable here, and Ethan even makes a 4K. The problem is they feel a little bit scared to peek this one. They've got support oh. coming in as well. Steel's calling it out now that a barrel has been spotted. He'll be able to shoot this drone and take care of FNS. There's the shot coming in from Asuna that drops the spike. Another one through the cyber cage as Mummy goes back to try to grab the spike. And again, you've got yourselves at limited numbers. It's down to Marved and Marved alone, and that'll be a third shot coming in from with this as well it's gonna be a hard spot here and even take them out there you go yeah that's an early pickup and now that's a weapon pickup as well now the seekers do come out to try to help things Ooh. you can see mummy was struggling with do i pull out my gun and kill this seeker he just tries to moonwalk away but can't get away far enough marved down to one hp after the shock dart comes through they're trying to do what they can as the killjoy ult has been popped to try to keep them away from the site it's a two-on-two, two, though. Marv's still alive with only one HP. And there's that Killjoy ult just providing a little bit of extra time. Ethan also low on one HP. It's really a battle between Victor and flash. Nitro. As the flash comes out from both sides, there's the peak. Marv able to pick up a kill with Woo! one HP. Marv is actually going to get the... Where you can't ult uh, up. He does have Blade Storm, and we're looking for a fast hit towards the A site. Speed is the name of the game. As they try to gain access to the A site, like you said, Mummy has to be careful, caught in the tripwire. Steel spraying in all directions, manages to get a few kills there before going down. The site's been secured, but safety is not guaranteed. Gotta be careful about the flank play that's coming through, and they know that there's one on the flank. I love this maneuver. Oh, they just get away! Asuna spotted them, but didn't get a chance to get a knife out. That could actually be worse for Envy than good, as Asuna now knows, and you can see, they're already sending players away. He's got, he's got pings going down in spawn yeah. saying, this is where they're running, this is where they're at. Ethan catches him over on the site, and I'm sure there's that conversation going on. What are you doing? Why are you here? Mark, inside the window, not prepared. Fast was the name of the game, for, just to try to keep them from running towards the site. There's the information gained. They almost didn't get any, but Steel is already on the wow. flank, watching for the, uh, the body of the Phoenix. The Phoenix had already jumped that window, though, before the ult was popped. It was... Marv, who was up in window, got caught off guard, and now it's all up to Mummy. We talked about him. Coming into the pregame, it was him versus Asuna. Will he shine here in a one versus three? Tiger nope. comes out around the corner. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Stunned and dazed, he tries to really utilizing the Cypher utility on A, where Cypher is actually playing on B. There's the cage coming in. Shock darts to follow. Recon darts out. It's chaos on the site right now. Pandemonium as Hiko is not prepared for Mummy, who's lurking around inside the cover on site. And there's the spike plant we were talking about as the Seekers come out. FNS will stick it, but FNS did not get an orb or a kill first, so there is no ult gear available just yet. Mummy trying to lock it down, doesn't have the op. This time he's doing it with the rifle. It's now down to two. Asuna and Ethan. Ethan coming through from spawn. The guided light gives away the information, but the kill is not gathered up as Mame has now found three kills on the round. Goes for the knives. Once the guarantee here has to be careful as that smoke dissipates, the hand will show around the corner. Asuna now is trying to isolate in this 1v1 with crashies but still gets bested in the end. Envy do survive for the time. At my point, 
intentional to have. They don't have any damage dealing ults, but look at Marv on the back end of this play. Marv is going to be the big piece of this. We'll catch the first. Does he get the second? No. Asuna getting one puts them in a better position, because if Marv had killed him, you've got Steel on Long, who's trapped inside the ult. It would have been another free kill, potentially. That would have been a huge swing for Envy. They don't know that FNS is here, though, so he might get a huge kill onto Asuna. Still doing some work towards the A side, though. They're moving in towards the site block. Yeah, there's the tap on the spike after the Neural Theft comes through. Steel kills on him for getting it halfway. And now it's come down to Crashies. He's got a recon dart, but he has to wait. Can't really do much. Hiko will get the defuse. Passive defeat by it. And look how fast we are towards the mid side. And it's going to be Mummy opening up with two kills. Yeah, FNS tries to help out as well. The frenzy from behind. There's that poisonous orb. We were talking about that. Whether or not that would be enough to try to keep them at bay as they make their way onto the B site. They do have the spike in their possession, but it's not exactly safe as targets are looming on all sides. And now it's down to the last remaining player. It's Hiko on long, and it's a Especially if it's a tight hallway, he keeps looking there. He could maybe pop a few, but now they're seeing it. The jig is up here for 100 Thieves. NBC to play towards this hallway, and that's what I'm talking about. See, they're so tight-knit. The dink comes in to Ethan. They're trying to push in, and they finally take him down. Envy definitely losing a few bodies, but they've still got control of the round, or at least they did. Victor, though, this is huge. Victor's going to be able to get one on the flank. Has the dismiss available as well, gets around the corner, and then the SMG is back out, and Asuna just can't track across that distance. Great move from Victor with the dismiss to get behind yellow. These are looking to just explode for a spike plan into the A site. Mummy swings wide around the corner. There's the early pickup. Shot in the top of the head by Steel, who was actually above. The shock dart is almost on the money. Steel's barely left standing. Again, no sky, no sage, no heals. Asuna catching one inside the nano swarm. It makes wow. it a little bit easier, but it's fallen down onto FNS, who scooped up a phantom. And I actually like this. FNS uses the util and now is falling off, and he might catch them on the run back. They're not going to be ready for He's this, and they're it. both so low on HP. Oh, this could be free. Ooh, or not. Or not. They're looking to get onto the site, but great damage has been dealt already. And the ult for Asuna has worn off as they try to make their way out. Still going to be steel again. He's on a late lurk, but he's about to get pinched from both sides. That, that's what we're talking about. He gets his mid take. Now he gets a flank. So he has to focus on this mid side for Envy. Finally gets traded out, but the spike is yet to be planted. Ooh. Nice shots from distance with the Phantom. 11 seconds left. They kill the Spike Planter, and now it's on Mummy. Mummy's escaped, but they've got to stick the Spike. They don't have a choice. Nico just goes for it. It's a 1v1. It's Mummy. He's currently got two on the round, and they were great shots, but Hiko's at full HP, still has both shock darts. Mummy's just and he's also here. the Clutch King. Like, we know what to expect. He's in a great position as well. He's playing so passively, forcing Mummy to walk towards him more and more. Mummy now coming through next to the spike at the bottom of tube, running out of time to try to peek this. There's the swing back from Mummy! Envy on this mid side, so I'm really liking this from Envy so far. Oh, I love the play coming out currently from Envy. Did I catch him? No! Asuna, he just spots out Victor who didn't anticipate a player being across already. Look at the position on the other side of this smoke though. Well played from Crashies to trade it back the other direction as they try to make their way towards the B site. Util being popped on both sides. There's the ult, though, coming up from Nitro, and that's going to make things incredibly difficult for Envy on the retake. Spike being still planted. Back. Spike planted. Nice shot coming up from Marv. Hold on. This was looking really promising, but now Marv's in a great position. Just has to be careful. He goes right around the corner. Who wins the fight? SMG versus rifle. It'll be the SMG. I like the off shot swap out. Well, mommy's going full Fortnite right now as he spirals left and right, <laughs> diving onto the site. Don't, you know, judge the man for oh his my building God. capabilities. The dash away as well to escape the threat. The updraft coming in. The movement's on point right now for Mummy. But Hiko is dodging in every way possible to avoid a direct fight. And he's already escaped on the site, and Mummy doesn't realize. And now yeah. the clock is gone. 
the opportunity has evaporated with here for Mummy into this round. Maybe with this Ooh. Spectre, and they are rings true. I love the move coming in here as well. Aggressive on Long Mark. Has to be careful. Doesn't hear the target behind him, so Hiko gets a trade back. Missed shot opportunity for Mummy. That'll allow Nitro to escape, but it's still a player advantage for Envy as they have the five on or the four on three. Excuse me. Now Ethan goes top rope and catches Victor off guard. The op is still a looming threat on this A site, but it doesn't seem to be scaring them away at all. No. Mummy has to dodge the poison that's been tossed out onto site from Viper. But it's a bit of a stalemate on site right now. They can't really plant. They can't really go for the swings. There's the swing coming out, and Nitro gets the punish. And FNS across the map on the B site wasn't really... It's a good thing, because this Killjoy ult is going to be very important. Yeah, not only that, using that ult there means oh. they don't have it, but so much for that. FNS caught off guard by Steel, who's playing hyper-aggressive as KJ. The knives come out for Mummy, despite the fact that it looked like he sliced him into... <laughs> ult being used as well to get one behind enemy lines. But you gotta be careful here. They lost one player. Victor's gonna get picked off on the flank. Caught inside the lockdown. Nitro just chilling currently inside the smoke of his ult. See the play from Mummy. I respect it. The attempt to dash up quick. Ethan is in a really good spot, but now finally his play is gonna pan out. Success is there for Ethan. But they just lost Nitro in sight. That means the cover they had has now disappeared. Big fat paranoia coming oh. out. But Marv gets the timing. It's up to Hiko again. 39 HP in a dream. He's the clutch god, but can he do it again? Gets the first target, but no. Marv is there and waiting. That's a huge 4K from the most recent player. Looks really good for Envy. <laughs> Big pickoff from Vic early on. Even gets the dismiss to get out of that position. They're down a man, but their opponents are down two. And there's the Killjoy ult coming out from FNS. Now, Victor is pinged currently by the drone. They're trying to gain access to the site. They want to try and cancel this ult if they can, but they're going to guard it with their lives. They're actually going to get a couple on this one, potentially. Yeah, two players oh. get detained. And FNS is going to have a field day with this one. Hiko's coming in to try to save them, and oh. thank God Hiko got there as fast as he did, because FNS should have been able to find a second. And he's the saving grace on the round, even though Hiko didn't win the clutch the last round. That's a clutch moment that won't get highlighted all that much. Getting there that quickly, turning still things from a 3-on-1 to a 2-on-2. Two the Al Jones just came out. He still has a Hunter's Fury for crashies. You just want to stay alive towards the back of this site. It's a fake plant to try to push him out. Oh, and now he's pinned. He's in such a tough spot. He needs help from Marv right now. Cake peeking currently. There's the snake fight coming up. There's the swing from Marv. But it's now down to just 20 seconds and a 1v1. The spike is inside that snake bite. Marv has great gained position. From Marv, they just swing off that dart, and that's exactly what he does. He goes for that wide swing. 10 seconds left now. Almost caught with the snake bite. But there's the snake bite going down. Hiko doesn't have a choice. Has to go towards the spike or go for the fight. Four seconds. Tries to force it again, but Marv isn't falling for it. He's falling oh! for the site. Hiko! With He's the janitor right now for the team. Let me just sweep it up. 7 of 4 right now, 400 thieves, and that's an upshot in the face of Victor. And a second one from Seal onto Mummy, and that's an open A site almost here as the Hunter rings out, but doesn't get the kill. Oh, Spike is now planted. Asuna looking for this four on two. As Envy is looking to retake this site, but that turret's gonna go up, but it's not gonna do much. Asuna actually gets the kill. Here's that Hunter's Fury to come out, and this should seal the deal. There you go, 100 Thieves. Or high expectations, because it's not a map we see them play all that often. Whereas Hunter Thieves feels a lot more comfortable, comfortable enough to take it. Well, this round, it's a couple of bodies trying to just get rid of the turret. And Steel, uh, Steel had open season, but only does damage. Chip damage coming down. Marv inside kitchen. Kiko looking for this kill. The spike at least gets planted. So this is an early, make that a three on three, as Asuna is trying to rotate in with his teammates. Three towards the pipes. But Mummy and Victor are in a great crossfire setup by the site, trying to go for the bait and switch. And as we're rotating back here, this is a huge leer, and this might calm things down for a bit and give the advantage back for Envy. Yep. There's another pistol round for Envy. So far, four for four on the pistol rounds. Shot from the Marshall, though. And that's going to limit his staying power. But 
That's a freebie for Hiko. FNS gets a little too antsy in mid and gets caught off guard by the player who's pushed up top of Boiler. Now Ethan getting dropped, getting aggressive over on A is the equalizer. You've still got players on this A site, though. Reyna is currently up in tube as the recon dart goes out. Won't give away Asuna's position. But will they see the barrel? That's the question. There's the drone coming out from Hiko to get that information. They're going to be moving back towards mid. And this could prove to be somewhat problematic as you have to challenge Steel with the Odin. And look at the angle he's gone with. It's a full-on rat play coming out from Steel. The Leer is coming out too, and it's a huge crossfire setup, and that's it. I mean, the Owl Drone, late activation. The thing is, 100 Thieves knows his hit's coming towards his B site, because he has such a big flank from Ethan. And there you go, Mark gets caught. It's going to be hard to retake here for MV on the site. Yeah, uh, that's quite difficult for Envy now that you've lost your smokes. You don't have any remaining control on the map. You don't have a Sage Wall to fight with. You don't have the backup of the Omen quite like 100 Thieves does. This is what we were talking about highlighting Icebox. Yeah, on Haven. It looks like they lost the pistol and then, you know, went on a, a kind of a tirade and won the last oh. seven rounds of the first half. So incredible stuff from x -Set. But back to the game Big at push, hand. Yeah. Envy's gotten onto the site, or at least they thought they did. Then the defender's Killjoy ult comes out, and that forces them all outside of that bubble. But what's inside the bubble is the spike. That allows great repositioning, and Nitro's done this before. Oh! There's a dive bomb into it. I love the play from Mummy to try and prevent that from being a threat. But Crash just dies to a snake bite in the meantime. Luckily, they've reduced it down to one. It's only people really left remaining with 10 HP. There was just such a big battle happening to him for that A side at least, too. I don't want to surrender another one to 100 Thieves just yet and give them that tie point guarantee. Ethan's playing such a good angle, Huge. looking for someone over top of that smoke. Can't do enough damage. We'll actually get away, and not only that, we're up onto the balcony. So from Rafters, has to concern himself with the dark position. has been given away again. But the same could be said for the other direction as they peel back a little bit further. Crashies alone as the smoke, the one way, giving Steel opportunities to strike. And it's now Finesse, Vic, 2v4. 35 seconds left on the clock. Spike control is theirs. But Steel's got the best HP possible for the scenario. Or all yeah. scenarios for that matter. Not anymore as they're trying to push forward and they swing it back, but you still have Hiko inside that site. So he's in the back and there is that ult. So I, I talked about the ult orb that they can pick up, but this time from a kill that's huge. Now we try to go for a plant. We force the defenders out. So this is actually now doable here. FNS only low HP. He has a full kit though. So he can put an alarm bot towards the spawn site, but he actually doesn't want to give his position away. He just wants to play the off angle and hopefully at least get one before he dies. Oh, oh no. no, that's not what you want to see. They relied on him so much. And that should have peaked out because, again, FNS had full kit. They saw that the recon dart came out from spawn side. He put an alarm bot onto the ground and it actually gets shot. Swarm it. Yeah, we're trying to just explode on this mid take and Asuna is trying to pop off, but is only good for one as the trades are still going back and forth, but it's still going to be the advantage coming in for 100 Thieves. That's a kill again. You need to see go the way of Vic. Victor falls short despite having Empress and Ethan being low on HP. Now the pressure is on for Crashy. The drone tough spot to put yourself in in a 1vx, Especially guaranteeing a at least funneling from one direction. Here comes the first one. Maybe a second. Not gonna happen. 